This is the story of how Rachel, Justin, Nathan, and myself became models for a high-end cashmere clothing company called The Elder Statesman and ended up on the front page of their website. Our journey is one where dreams collide with destiny, forever etching our names in the annals of fashion history. Like all good adventures, this story started with unexpected intrigue of an Instagram message from a mysterious stranger. Professional photographers Frankie and Shar reached out to myself. They are a badass couple who have traveled the world taking photos from the Himalayas to Italy and the High Arctic. They wanted to do an epic photo shoot in Canada for the Elder Statesman, which is a high-end boutique clothing brand from California who produces cashmere clothing typically worn by celebrities and NBA players, such as James Harden. Now that we have our 8 a.m. pizza out of the way, let me show you the route to an incredible ice cave that due to climate change may no longer exist. From the Bow Summit parking lot, we skied uphill until the ridge and then dropped down an avi path to reach the famous Pato Lake where we promptly found wolverine tracks. After successfully crossing a small stream, we then made our way up a ridge until we could see the toe of the Pato Glacier. The big uh, opening over there. Have you guys already gone down? No, we're following us. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's river. Been down there? Yo, I, I've been there once. As we approached the ice cave, the wind started to pick up transforming the surroundings into an otherworldly realm reminiscent of the iconic ice planet Hoth from Star Wars. I don't know what my favorite ice cream is. Tiger, tiger. I want to jump that corner. As we approached the ice cave, we could see that the drop was in and Frankie knew that he had brought the right group of idiots with him to get the shot. This will go huge. Like we can all, let's triple send this. The landing's perfect. We gotta check this out. Oh yeah. What do you think? Yeah, that'll go for sure. Yeah. Before jumping off the cornice, we decided to explore the ice cave, which took us underneath and through the Pato Glacier. This is, so yeah, obviously we just want to minimize how long we're in here because these chunks fall from the roof. This is one of the most unique magical areas that I have ever been to, and it left us in awe. Your uh, skin's off. Uh, here, I'll fix that for you. Oh god. Why was that so dramatic? <sighs> After touring back through the cave, we got a few more epic shots and then it was time to scope out the line and absolutely send it. That goes, for sure. It totally goes. Totally goes. I'll be coming right at you, but don't worry. Yeah, you got it, Justin. 
Whoa, that was sick! I got that on in camera! You got her? Sick! And just like that, the session was over. It was a great success, and Justin had only used up one of his nine lives. Frankie had got the shots that he needed to land us on the Elder Statesman's front page. And before leaving, we decided to make one last pass through the glacial cave before returning to civilization. And I'm very happy that we did, as since making this video, climate change has decimated the Pato Glacier. And the glacier that we once stood on, jumped off of, and the cave that we walked through are no longer there. On a lighter note, here are the rest of the ridiculous photos of the squad. Yeah. Maybe this would just be the intro like this. <laughs> That's it. Squad, bitch. All these bad bitches say they love me, I already know. Check the check the ping that's on my finger, cause I'm married, ho. There you go. Everybody know the boy pockets to swole. What's good? This some familiar never been here before. Life good, cause I just got quoted 200 to show. Oh no, oh no, 200 to show. Overnight, all this money that I've been making, I gave it right back. To all of the people that made me, you know we like that. Don't know why your bitch wanna date me, but I can't fight that. Guess you ain't done shit for her lately, not on the right track. If I think that shit sound good, I gotta write that. We man knocking on the door, Ooh, I'll be right back. Pass the shit to six, watch them like that. Hit the studio, record the shit, then mix the shit, then master it. And then we do the show and they recite that. Bitch, I'm right back. Told them about my life, told them about my life. Told them I was broke as fuck too many nights. Now I see my name above so many lights, but everybody probably thinks this shit done happened, happened, happened overnight. People think that that this shit happened, but they never write. Acting like they got it, they got it, but they never quite. If you've enjoyed the content so far, taking a moment to hit that like and subscribe would truly make my day. Crafting these videos takes months of dedication, and your support fuels my passion for creating more quality content. Thanks again for your support. And until next time.